Hi there, it's Jeff here. Uh, we've seen today some changes to the way that the Consumer Price Index is calculated in the UK. So the latest adjustments to the, to the basket of goods and services that they use to calculate inflation have been announced. Now, every year, changes are made to the items used when surveying prices of different goods and services. And those, uh, those items in the basket are designed to reflect changes in relative household spending, which in turn reveal our changing consumer preferences. So this year, 23 items have been added to the basket for Consumer Price Index. 15 have been taken away, leaving 752 separate items in the 2025 basket. Now, each of them is then given a weight to help calculate the average price level for the economy. So what's in? Well, virtual reality headsets make an appearance. Personally, don't have any of those, so that's not relevant to me. Men's sliders, pool sandals make an appearance. Yeah, every time I go to the gym afterwards, you know, see people walking, wandering around, swanning around in these pool sandals. I don't have any of those. Ready to use noodles, fresh noodles from the supermarket, ready to use as opposed to dried noodles, have now made an appearance in the CPI calculation. I'm not a great noodle fan, if truth be told. But breaking news, exercise mats are in. The rise in home fitness, uh, exercise mats for different types of exercises, they have now been included in the CPI index for the first time. And lo and behold, I actually have bought two of those this year. Obviously, items included, some items taken out. So they have excluded now printed adverts in newspapers. And that reflects the long term shift away from classified ads in newspapers of declining circulation. Fresh minced turkey has been taken out of the index. So too, DVD rentals. Pretty obvious why. The continued rise in streaming services, video on demand using uh, Apple TV and Netflix and now uh, Fire Sticks and so on and so forth. So DVD rentals no longer included in the CPI along with wallpaper. OK, that must reflect a change in uh, the relative uh, preferences for you know painting walls uh, or covering them in other other surfaces other than wallpaper. Now, when I said that the the CPI is a weighted index, it is indeed a weighted index. So these are used to try to calibrate the relative importance of different products in the spending patterns of consumers. So typically, a normal household spends more on housing, on transport and food and alcoholic drinks and things than on others. They spend more on the, on housing they do on things like books and healthcare. So a price change in a heavily weighted category, like a rent, affects the consumer price index more than a price change in movie tickets. That's just the way it is. OK. And the CPI is based in the UK and many other countries on a, on a, on a market basket of goods and services that the typical household consumes. And of course, nobody necessarily, although a few people are typical. And the items in the basket and the weights are adjusted each year. So we've, we've looked at what's been taken out and what's been included. These are the latest weightings in the CPI. Uh, communication and health and education, fairly low weights, just under 3%, for example, health, just over 3% education. And then we get into the bigger items, clothing and footwear, food and non-alcoholic beverages, housing costs, transport, restaurants and hotels, quite heavily weighted, recreation and culture. So these are the main weights in the Consumer Price Index for 2025.